Hi guys, this video is going to help you get started on your first drawing in your four drawing design series. This is going to be plot plan. That's that very first drawing that you do. Um, remember, this isn't a drawing that's creative. There's nothing on this drawing other than the boundaries of your property and the location of the buildings on your property. Um, the way we imagine this project is everybody's first drawing is exactly the same. Um, something that happens in real life is that a developer will buy a large piece of property and then divide the property up into lots. So let's say the property, the developer has a property like this and he builds a few roads and then he divides up the lots and so they're all exactly the same and builds houses on them. Then he sells those properties with the houses and in that development everything's kind of the same in the beginning and that's how this first drawing is going to be for you. Okay, They're all the same, it's the starting place. It's how you use all those skills that you've learned along the way that's gonna make this drawing really shine. Um, it's usually, for, I'm gonna give you more information than I normally do with students when we start this because re you, learning remotely gives you some extra challenges. Um, but we treat this usually like a little bit of a treasure hunt. You kinda of have to figure out how to get the, um, house located exactly right on the property all on your own and it usually takes students quite a while before they kind of have that light go off and they figure out what they're supposed to do to get the building in exactly the right place um, but i'm going to give you a few extra tips and hints that i don't normally give students and number one is that you do not have to put the house in the middle of the paper the middle of the paper is not one of the orientation points as you figure out how your house fits on the property, okay? That's just a hint. Students get bogged down by that, and then when they realize, oh, I don't have to do it like that, it helps them a whole bunch. So I gave you that hint ahead of time. That should be helpful to you. Okay, so we're gonna kind of step-by-step step go through the instructions. You have this attached to the assignment on Google Classwork. So we're gonna go through it and read it together for the plot plan drawing. Okay, so you're gonna take your 12 by 18 inch piece of drawing paper. You should all have some of this paper that you brought home from school. You're gonna need your engineer scale for sure. You're gonna need a pencil and you're gonna need some flare to ink it in. Remember, you're going to create guidelines for all your lettering. You're going to use all capital letters and you're gonna use pencil first, and then you're gonna flare it in. And remember, this lettering should be in the style that you chose after we did our lettering practice. And you should tape this piece of paper down to your drawing surface if you can. Um, that's just the best way to do it, okay? So that's kind of all the preparatory stuff. It's all the materials you need and things to be thinking about. So now step one is going to be making the title block. Now remember, Every drawing that we do is going to have a title block set up in the way that our design firm makes a title block. So you're going to have your piece of drawing paper going the long way like this. And using the guide that I sent home with you and that you've been practicing with, you're going to, on the right hand side, set up that title block. And you're going to do the sections as we discussed. So you can use the sheet that I sent you home to make sure that you put the right information on each part of the title block. And remember, the address is gonna start here, and you're gonna work up from there, okay? So don't start trying to do it the other way. This is exactly how it gets set up. Remember, the manager of each firm tells their designers, this is how we set up our forms, this is how we set up our drawings, this is how we set up our title block. So the first thing you're gonna do is get that title block going, and that may actually take you quite a bit of time. You're gonna to need to make your guidelines to make sure that all this lettering is nice and neat. When I see your picture, if you haven't used guidelines, there's not gonna be any question about it. I'm gonna know right away. It makes that much of a difference. Remember not to share, um, this is gonna be one and a half inch wide this way. And then you use the specific measurements that are on the paper for each one of these sections. 
And remember, you're not going to share guidelines, right? This can't be your top guideline with a bottom guideline, top guideline, bottom guideline. You have to make sure there's a little space between each set of guidelines so that your letters are nice and crisp. What you might find the first time you're really doing this is that they get a little either too spread apart or too squished. Make sure you use a nice light pencil in the beginning and that will help you have a little bit of flexibility so it comes out just the way you want it to be, okay? So first thing you're gonna do on this assignment is do that title block and get it set up just right. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to, and what the other thing you need to know about the title block is that north really is straight up at the top of your paper. You really need to know north for all the things that you're gonna do with this design. Because the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna draw in a road that is 24 feet wide and runs on the east-west as the southern half of the property boundary. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to do this because I want you to figure it out. And if you can't figure it out, you can email me or call me on a Google Meet and we can talk about it. But first, I want you to try to figure it out. So you know where north is, there's a road that's on the southern boundary running east to west. Draw in half of it. So it says that the road is 24 feet wide, but I only want you to draw in half of it. So how much is that? And what scale are you using? You're using one inch equals 10 feet, right? You can see it in the instructions for your, what's going into your title block. So you're not gonna draw in 24 feet on the southern boundary as your road, you're only going to draw in half of it. You're only going to draw in 12 feet. And then you are going to name it and letter it. So if you've already decided where your customer lives, which you should have if you did the customer description, that's the road. You're going to letter it and name it. Now, a word of advice when you letter and name your road, don't do it too big. So I'm going to show you. I've got Taylor's block plan here. She did an absolutely lovely job on her plot plan, okay? Her lettering on her road is a little bit large. Not too bad, but a little bit large. You might wanna keep your lettering a little bit smaller. All right, so once you get the title block done, once you get the road drawn in, and I wouldn't flare any of this stuff yet. Save your flaring till the very end, because you can always have opportunities to make changes if you need to. Now you need to draw in the house. And this is the real part of the puzzle. Because the house is 42 by 28 feet. It's 42 feet wide, long, and 28 feet wide. Now you have to figure out, given these coordinates, exactly where it is on the property. Remember, the edge of your paper is not a boundary. Your edge of your title block is not a boundary. You have to create those boundaries using your house. You can do it. It takes a little measuring, a little finagling. Uh, it's a little tricky. And like I said, I don't want to tell you too much because I want you to work at figuring this out a little bit. That's part of this. You have these skills. You all did a great job drawing with your engineer scales. So let's figure out how it works. The house dimensions are 42 by 28. The house sits back 30 feet from the road. That's a really specific measurement that you can build on. The house sits back 30 feet from the road. From the east side of the property boundary, the edge of the house is 50 feet. From the west side property boundary, the edge of the house is 50 feet. From the north side property boundary, Where's north? Remember, you know where north is, so then you can get these other coordinates. From the north property boundary, the house sits back 45 feet. So when we're talking about the house, we're talking about the edge of the house, because you're measuring from the edge of the house to the boundary. And that's an important measurement when you're building things. Different towns and communities have different setback restrictions, which won't allow you to put certain pieces of just the corner of your house has to be within the setback. So if the setback is 25 feet, you have to have at least 25 feet between the property boundary and the house itself, okay? So 
what you're going to have to do, you've got, that, you've got that measurement for sure that you know that the house sits back 30 feet from that road that you're creating on the southern boundary moving east to west. The edges of your paper are not property boundaries. The edge of your title block is not a property boundary. But you know that your house is 42 by 28 and it sets back 30 feet from the road. How do you get it to work? Start with pencil. You might actually find that you have to make some grid lines, move your house around a little bit, and hopefully you'll all have that eureka moment where it comes together. Um, you can go back and look at the other videos that I made, the other video I made about the um, four steps in the design series. You could look at those houses and kind of figure out on the plot plan and kind of figure out how it's supposed to look if you need to. But try to do it first just by, um, just by experimenting and trying to figure out this puzzle. It's a great puzzle, and I have every confidence that you can figure it out. Just stick with it and um, give it a shot, and good luck. Get to work.